Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. I'm gonna be redoing our front entryway into our house and I'm really excited. I've been wanting to redo that space for a while. I picked up this corner table from Bed Bath & Beyond that I think would work so good um, right when you walk in. And we picked up a few things from Target as well, just pillows and blankets and stuff, just to kind of add to the space a little bit. It's been one of the last rooms that I've thought about redoing so I'm excited to finally do it and kind of make it cozy so I want to bring you along with me I'll show you what the little corner table looks like on the outside of the box of it and I'll just build it really quick and then I'll show you in the morning when there's daylight it's nighttime now but it'll be really cute so I'm excited okay so here's the box this is what the little corner table looks like it's kind of a mid-century modern look and it's in the color birch but it's a 30 inch two door corner accent cabinet and they had a darker color that was more like a walnut which would have been really pretty but I ended up going for the lighter color it's kind of a blonde wood so I'll be sure to check in with you in the morning once I have it all built and we will style the living room and add a couple fun things I picked up a new lamp as well so that'll be really fun um I'm excited and I'll see you guys in the morning Morning guys. It is the big day. We get to update the living room a little bit. I'm so excited. Like I said yesterday, we picked up some fun items. I got some new throw pillows. I got a new blanket. Um, I also picked up a lamp like I think a couple weeks ago and the little corner shelf. We have that built and it looks so good. It is so cute and I think it's going to look really nice in there too. So let's go in there and I'll show you what we're working with and kind of the jumping off point. Okay, so the lighting in here is going to be kind of weird. It's a pretty overcast day, so I'm trying to get as much lighting as I can in here for you guys, but this is what we're working with. I had a different table here that I actually redid. My sister gave me an old kind of console table that I refinished a couple years ago and I loved it here, but I wanted something different. And this is actually the entertainment center we had in our bedroom and it ended up working here perfect. I just wanted something that someone could pop a drink on top of it if they're sitting on the couch or they can put their phone down. And it's also a catch-all for when we walk in the door. So this guy is, it's kind of hard to tell with this lighting, but as you've seen in the other videos, it's kind of like a gray brown. And I think the cool tone of it works really well in this room. So we have this piece here, but then if you look over in this corner, it's kind of like a dead space. We have Mocha's tree, which this is kind of the best spot for it. So we're going to leave this here. But then we have just this little like blanket basket that's honestly just hiding the cords right here. And I hate it. I just feel like this is a missed opportunity. So we've been trying to brainstorm what to do here. Um, And then this lamp, I've had it for a really long time and it is a great lamp, but you kind of feel like you're under a spotlight with it and you can bump your head on it when you're sitting at the couch. So I've been trying to figure out what would work best here. And I considered a corner cabinet. I've never had a corner cabinet. So I was like, maybe that would work here. So I started looking online and I found one with Bed Bath & Beyond or Overstock. They work together for some reason. I don't know if they have the same warehouse, but I found a little corner cabinet and it's in birch is like the wood finish it's called, but it's a blonde wood. And I thought that that might be nice to bring some lightness into this room. We have a lot of darker furniture and the floors are a darker brown like wood tone and our couch is pretty much like a charcoal color so I knew I wanted something light and something we could also put drinks on and have another light source still so I found this guy and we built it last night and it is so cute I'm hoping that the color is coming through gray ashy kind of tone but it still has a warmth to it and then on the inside and it has two shelves and then a little bowl for cords so our thought is we're gonna put all of our router and modem and whatnot in the bottom and feed the cords through so we can hide it in here because that's what the majority of those cords are over there and then the top will just be for some extra storage i'm not sure what yet but i think it will work really nice 
it came with these little black poles, which I think tie into the rest of the room really good. But let me give you a little tour with what we're working with. So we have the charcoal colored couch. We kind of have some cool tones because of this photo that we have up on the wall. I've had that photo for quite a while, but I don't want to part with it yet. I still kind of love it. So we have some other cool tones coming in with the record player. And then the lamp we got, which I will show you, has a little bit of blue in it as well. And then we have a little blanket left artwork up on the wall. It's like a silver cross hatch kind of artwork. I think that's from Target from forever ago. Then we have these pillows, which we've had for a really long time. They're really soft. They have this diamond kind of texture to them, but they're a little cooler than I like. And I wanted some warmth brought to the space, like I've said. So I'll show you some of the items that we picked up yesterday to put in here and we'll just play and see how it goes. And I apologize for the lighting. It's going to be kind of all over the place because we have like the kitchen lighting which is kind of warm then we have natural light which is kind of cloudy and then we have the living room light which is also kind of dim so bear with me but i think it'll be so good so let's do it okay so let's go through what we picked up from target first off i got this throw blanket it's kind of in this oatmeal taupey kind of color and it has this kind of like striping to it I guess you could say a little texture to it it's really soft this one's by threshold and I believe it's it's a 50 by 60 so it's a decent size one thing that you're gonna notice and don't hate me for it I got a lot of things that are just like beige or warm tones. I wanted some basic pieces that are a little bit more simple to start off just to kind of build a lightness in the room without going too crazy because I want my house to kind of flow and I don't want anything to kind of clash. So I'm starting off with some basic. So all the pieces you see are some form of beige or kind of creamy or neutral. So just forewarning you. The next piece I got was a throw pillow. And I don't know if it's gonna come through on camera, but it's got this kind of like boucle kind of texture to it. It's got the lightness. It's kind of a cream on top, but underneath is a darker color of cream, which I like. And then it has this brass zipper. So I'm trying to pull in brass a little bit more throughout the house. So it's a little bit more cohesive everywhere. But I thought that that was really cute. So this will kind of be like a little accent pillow, I think, just to add a little bit more visual texture um, to the couch. So I love that. And then I got two big Euro pillows. So these guys are again, a form of beige. It's kind of another oatmeal tone, but it's got some natural qualities to it, kind of like linen, which I really liked too. And they're really squishy, really comfy. I love Euro pillows, these big square ones, just for couches especially, and for beds. They look really nice on beds, but I think this will add a little bit more of a warmer touch as well. So this with the little throw pillow, I think would look really nice. And like I said, I got two of them for both sides of the couch. And this was a pillow I already had. It's just been kind of stored and I didn't know what to do with it, but I thought it would be fun to add in here just cause again, has a little visual texture to it, but it's this little like lumbar kind of pillow and it's silky, it's really soft. And then it has these little folds in it. And I think that'll just add another layer to it. Again, it's a beige tone, but I think it'll be really nice. Once they're all together and they're mingling, I think it'll be cute. Finally, in this space, we did have a little rug on the floor and it was gray and it had like a diamond, almost like an argyle pattern to it. I know that sounds crazy, but it was like very neutral. Couldn't really tell. We had it underneath of our ottoman just as like an anchoring point to the living room. And I felt like I wanted to get away from the icy kind of blue cool tones. And we had a rug that's been stored in our garage for a while and I knew I wanted to keep it. I just knew I was gonna use it again. So I think it'll work perfect in here just to add another element of a visual texture and pattern. This one, it's brown and like an off-white. It is reversible, but I think I prefer this side. I think it's a five by seven or a little bit larger, but I think it'll just be kind of a fun pattern to add in here. And we can just play with it, see how we, how we like it. But yeah, finally, my lamp. So we picked up a lamp couple weeks ago, cause I was preparing for this kind of redo in here. And I got this from Target as well. So we have like, probably kind of hard to see, but it's like a linen 
shade. And then the base of it has a blue and kind of cream brown tone to it. Very organic pattern on it. And I'm picturing this sitting on that little corner cabinet, which I think would look so nice. So that is the new stuff that I picked up and I'm ready to just play. So let's try it out. Okay, so we just got all the cords organized within it. We have all of our like modems and routers stuff in here. It's kind of ugly. So that's one of the reasons we got this, so we could kind of hide it. So I'm gonna pop the lamp on the top too and get that plugged in and get the cord organized as well. So let's do that. Okay, sorry that the light's kind of blown out, but there you can kind of see the colors in the base of the lamp a little bit more. It has some cooler tones to it. So see, it kind of it covered up all of that junk over there. So now if you're sitting here, you have a spot you can put your drink on, a little coaster. I'll be sure to get some footage of it, like B-roll shots, so you can see everything in its glory. But I'm gonna move on to the couch now and kind of redoing that space. So let's do it. So first things first, I wanna put the rug down so we can kind of feel out the room with that pattern and see how it's playing with everybody else. So we will have to move the princess. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rug out now, now that we have it vacuumed. What I usually like to do with this layout of a couch with a rug is I put this on a diagonal usually just to kind of open up the room more. I feel like when it's going the direction with the couch, it kind of gets hidden underneath of the ottoman. So I usually have it on an angle and I tuck it a little closer to the couch. We're going to see if we can pull the ottoman over with mocha on it. I think it looks really good. I think the tones in it work well in the space. So we're gonna roll with it. We'll start swapping out the pillows and the blankets on the couch and see how it comes together. I'm gonna take the old ones out for now, but probably gonna hold on to them because I do still like them. If I forgot to mention, these big Euro pillows are also by Threshold. And then I believe, yes, this one is also by Threshold. Okay, so I just got the tags off of everything, but can we um, can we talk about blankets and why it needs to have 6,000 little plastic fastener things throughout the entire blanket? I feel like that's so unnecessary. But anywho, it's really soft, like furry on the one side, and then it has like a silky kind of, I don't know, like suede, I guess. But there's that. Really cute, really cozy. Love it. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time we pull this together. Let's do it, team. This was an older blanket, so we'll see if we can use it. So for sure, one of these big guys in the corner. The other one on the other side. And I'm thinking with these, since we have a deeper cushion over here, we have a little bit more space. I think this is where we group our pillows together. I'm gonna start with the little textured one. Put that one down and then layer it. The little lumbar guy. Try that. Then I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just drape blanket. I like blankets to look kind of haphazard. So I think that's cute. We'll add our little wooden tray back. Here's a little closer shot so you can actually see the textures kind of playing together. We have the blanket. One thing I'm kind of struggling with is if this rug and this blanket kind of fight each other. I feel like they're very similar in pattern. So I'm wondering if I swap out 
this blanket with the one we had on the couch and just try it. Okay, so I finally did the little finishing touches in here and we did end up moving the picture, the main picture we have in here just a little bit because it felt like it was a little heavy to one side now that we've kind of shifted some stuff. So I'll show you that and then I'll give you some B-roll of everything. But I think it turned out so good and it's so cozy in here and I'm so happy that I finally did it. Just grabbing a few little pieces here and there just to complete the space and it feels like home out here. And I'm really excited to be in this space and to read and to relax. But thank you guys for coming along with me with the last couple furniture pieces that I've picked up and redone in a couple of my rooms. Um, we haven't had a whole lot of new furniture in a really long time. So it's been fun kind of picking some new pieces up. Here we go. I'm gonna show you the room. <laughs> 